All right, here's solutions to quiz two. Um, let's see, the first problem, we're asked to evaluate this product. In other words, multiply this guy times this guy. Um, lots of different ways to do this. The way that somebody showed in class was to use sort of the box method. You take this one minus x and write the one here and the minus x here. And then we got an x cubed, an x squared, an x and a one from this guy, put it up here, and then you sort of make a grid here. Not the best grid, but it'll get the job done. Um, and you fill out all the boxes in here. Maybe we'll change colors so it's clear what's going on. Um, one times x cubed is just x cubed. One times x squared, just x squared. One times x, x, one times one, one. Negative x times x cubed is negative x to the fourth. Um, you can think of this as x to the one and x to the third, and so you add the exponents. Negative x cubed, negative x squared, negative x. Um, and so adding up these eight boxes will be what our answer is. If you get a little bit clever, you might notice that kind of on the diagonal things here cancel. So your answer will be a little bit simplified, but I'll pretend you didn't see that. Um, you can write everything that we got. Start with these bottom guys. It really doesn't matter what you start with. Just make sure you copy them all down one way or another. And then start combining like terms. We only have the this x to the fourth. So we got a minus x to the fourth out in front negative 1x cubed and positive 1x cubed. Those just cancel out. Sure. Let's put a little line through them. And then negative x squared and positive x squared. Add those up, they go away. Negative x plus positive x is zero. And so all we're left with is this positive one out here at the end. And that right there is your answer. Moving on. Number two, I think two is a little bit harder than number one. Um, I think most people will get number one right, but number two, maybe not so much. Um, simplify the following rational expression. Okay, so remember, you're thinking about this like a fraction, right? And we want to simplify it. Um, the way you simplify fractions is if you have a common term in the top and the bottom, a common multiple maybe is a way to think about it. You can cancel those out. So we want to rewrite the top so it's a bunch of stuff times each other, and then maybe we'll be able to cancel it with some stuff down here. So what I was hoping you would see is that this is a perfect uh, difference of squares. There's something that when you square it, you get 16x to the fourth, and there's something that when you square it, you get 8d1. Um, specifically, it's 4x squared and 9. So since we have a perfect square on both sides, we know that it's equal to this guy. Just leave the bottom alone for now. And so you're like, all right, I got that, but it doesn't seem to help. I still can't cancel anything. Well, if you look over at this guy on the left, it's still a perfect uh, difference of squares, right? 4x squared is 2x squared, and then 9 is 3 squared. So we can write this guy like 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. This one, um, there's nothing you can do here. Uh, it's not a difference of squares, right? It's a sum of squares. Um, you could try to factor it for a little while, but I don't think anything will come out of it. So it turns out you're stuck just leaving that guy like that. And then if you look down on the bottom, 3 minus 2x, uh, it'd be nice to cancel that out. We got 2x minus 3, which is really similar, but not quite the same. So the trick is you pull out a negative 1, and you can change 3 minus 2x to 2x minus 3. So uh, that right there ends up being the most factored form. You got a 2x minus 3 on the top and a 2x minus 3 on the bottom. And so what we got left is this times this divided by negative 1. Or you can move that negative up to the top. So negative 2x plus 3 times 4x squared plus 9 divided by 1. You don't even have to write divided by 1. So we can just stop right here and call this the answer. 
And that's the end of quiz two.